Are you ready to study along with Melissa Lucy and I? Because she wants an A and I hope you want an A too. Now, before we even start, make sure you already downloaded your free study plan. You can find a link in the description box to download that. All right, so since chapter one started off with matter, and I know that these tend to be a little bit like simpler, um, just because we it's more like definitions, but I would say this is probably the trickier multiple choice question because there's so much to choose from and they all kind of seem like the same thing. Um, so let's just make sure we cover this. You understand matter, you understand how to classify it, and then we'll go from there. I have some examples. So just classifying matter, we know everything is made up of something, right, or of matter. And there's two different types. You're gonna see pure substances, or actually let's start off with what a pure substance is. That's gonna be composed of only one type of atom or molecule. Think of it, it's, com it's basically just composed of one certain thing, okay? And then next you're gonna see a mixture of things. So two different things com like that are mixed together. So composed of two or more different types of atoms and molecules. It's gonna make so much more sense since once we actually put examples to this. So I'll start off with the, just the different types of pure substances. So an element, a pure element is something gonna be like iron or um, let's say silver in this case, AG, uh, anything that's just by itself. Think of an element as I can't break it down anymore. It's already in the simplest form. While a compound, though it's composed of multiple things, like two or more elements, but I also want you to think of it this way, it's a pure substance because it's made up of elements, right? So it's not made up of like an element and something completely different, right? So it's it's two elements composed um, compose a compound, and that could either be, did you guys go over ionic and covalent compounds? We did not. No, okay, let me go over that. But an ionic compound just means that it's composed of one metal and one non-metal. So like in this case, NaCl or salt is just gonna be a metal, so our metal is gonna be sodium, and that's positively charged, and then our non-metal is gonna be chlorine, and that's negatively charged. So I, I, I'd say don't worry too much about the charges right now. You guys are gonna cover this, I think, next chapter. Um, but just knowing that there are different types of compounds, some that are called ionic compounds, and then others that are called covalent compounds. And those consist of only nonmetals. So it's, I'm gonna say it's two or more nonmetals. And that's something like carbon dioxide. CO2. Next, we're gonna see different types of mixtures. So our first type is gonna be homogeneous, where everything is basically the same, it's uniform. So you're only gonna be able to see the same exact layer. You're not gonna see two different types of layers or, or two different distinct things. So in this case, I want you to think of just coffee. We're all coffee lovers here. So just black coffee is going to be a homogeneous mixture since we're mixing water and those coffee grounds versus something that's heterogeneous where it's not going to be uniform and we're gonna see two distinct layers or multiple layers. Like let's say, I don't know what this concoction is, but whatever this is, you're actually going to see two different layers. So just as a practice run, um, go ahead and tell me what you think each one of these are. Label them either pure substance or like we're just going to talk it out, but tell me if it's a pure substance or a mixture and specifically what type of pure substance and what type of mixture. Try these questions out on your own and don't worry, we'll go over the answers together. So iron would be a pure substance, right? It would be an element. Correct. Good. You're right. Um, wet sand would be a mixture and it would be, would it be heterogeneous? Yes, it would. Exactly. Okay. Good. And then, and there it's, it's, since it told you that it, it is wet sand, that like description is going to help you so much. And you're actually going to see that a lot with these types of questions when they give you some sort of adjective, you know, uh, or just, or something that's actually describing the sand or describing something, that's kind of your hint of whether or not it's homogeneous or heterogeneous. So if it was just regular sand, then would it be homogeneous? It could have been, yes. Okay, okay. Um, carbon monoxide would be a um, 
Isn't that a compound? It is, yeah. And that's okay. a type of pure substance or mixture? Oh, pure substance. Yeah. Perfect. And then orange um, juice. Orange juice, I think, would be... Wait, would this depend on if it has pulp in it? <laughs> <laughs> it does. No, it does. But because they didn't specify, they didn't say there was pulp. Just think pure it's pulp. just pure. <laughs> There's no pulp. Just think of it as it's just orange juice. Okay, so then it's going to be a homogeneous mixture. Perfect. Tea with sugar. Um, ooh, I feel like they're trying to trick me. Um, I feel like the sugar would dissolve in the tea, so therefore it would be a uh, um, homogeneous mixture. Perfect. Yes. Okay. What about air? I have no idea. Um, Can you see air? Like, like, can, no, like, is, is like, to our understanding, is it uniform? Like, can you see multiple layers in it, in air? Yeah, yeah so it's uniform. Okay, so then it would be um, homogeneous. Yes, and then it, it is a mixture, just a, this is actually a really good question. I see this all the time with air. It is a mixture of different gases, uh, right. but, but we don't see it. Now, if they would have, would had said uh, there's smog in the air, now it there's two different things there, so that would have been heterogeneous. Okay. And then this one's kind of tricky. What about blood? Mm. So if we look at it, then it looks homogeneous, but I feel like it's heterogeneous because um, based on what I learned like last semester, the blood like separates into layers, like the different cells. Right. So because there's plasma and there's the actual like blood cells. Right. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So that, that's, this is a little bit tricky just because yeah, it, to us, it looks uniform. Like we don't really think about, we don't really think about what blood looks like. You know, we all just kind of see it looks uniform, but thinking about what's in it. Yes. If we go in a more specific level, like actually looking at what, what's inside. So good. These are, these are definitely great sort of questions. Um, once again, if they ever, add some sort of descriptive factor where like like we said like with air and it having smog or let's say coffee with creamer you know now now we changed it so those little distinctions can actually change the mixture from homogeneous to heterogeneous does this make sense yes except the only thing i see okay so if you have coffee and then you have um tea how come you add the cream to the coffee it changes it but you add sugar to the tea and it doesn't change that so it, it just depends on, sorry, that was probably not the best example, but think of it like with foam, like a, like a cappuccino oh. sort of thing, you know, if you can. Oh, it's in the, yeah, the layer. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But like iced coffee or actually even that, um, <laughs> <laughs> hot coffee that's mixed in with, this is like really specific, but mixed in with actual like creamer and it's the same uniform. Yeah. That, that's going to be homogeneous. However, if it were. I'm really being specific now. Like if it were like, like it has, a, a cappuccino, <laughs> like you got to know your coffee's here. Yes. A cappuccino would be heterogeneous. Okay. Got it. Walk into a Starbucks and order a bunch of things and just point it out. Yeah. We need to do that. <laughs> okay. So then this one, they can actually give you different pictures and that's all they give you. And they're, they're going to ask you the same exact question. So let's start off with the first one to the left. Um, what do you think that one would be? Pure substance or mixture and what specific type? Try this question out on your own. Okay, the first one is pure substance and it's an element. Perfect. And then the one right next to it to the right? Um, that's going to be uh, a mixture. It's going to be heterogeneous because it's layers. Perfect. Keep going down. I, I'm so excited because I'm like proud of myself. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then the one underneath the pure substance. Okay, that one is hetero. Wait, homogeneous. Good. Because it's two different things, but they're uniformly like mixed. Beautiful. And that last one. That's a compound. Perfect. Okay. Okay. I hope you're learning a lot already. And if you need more help, then make sure to visit my website, melissamaribel.com and I'll see you in the next video.